Hey guys, it's Kate. Today I have our Mexican Riviera Very Merry Time Cruise on the Disney Wonder haul for you. I have things from San Diego, from the cruise ship itself, from Mexico, and from Arizona, which is one of the airports, uh, states that, um, one of the, <laughs> I'm having a really hard time talking today, I'm so sorry one of the states that we were in the airport of. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started since I'm clearly stumbling over my own words. I am gonna go in order. Um, so the first place we visited was San Diego. We flew into San Diego and spent the day doing an urban quest adventure. I had never heard of one of those before. My uncle JR was able to book it for us. We had, I think, 10 people in our party. It was myself, Abel, and mom, and his mom, Maria. It was Uncle JR and Aunt Lisa, and their two daughters, Morgan and Madison. Morgan brought her boyfriend, Peyton, and Madison brought her friend, Julia. So there were 10 of us. We split up into teams, and we were given these tasks that we had to go all around Balboa Park in San Diego to complete. It was actually really, really fun. Um, the Lamb family, though, is very competitive, and it was a bit of a rush. I would love to do one here in Orlando if there is one available at a much more leisurely pace. But in San Diego, I got a couple of things. Um, first of which was there is, of course, a Starbucks. So I wanted to get the Been There series Starbucks mug. Um, I have one for Arizona, for South Carolina, um, and for Florida, of course, and then, of course, all the Disney parks. So I wanted to get one for San Diego. I could have gotten one for California specifically, um, or California in general, but I wanted to get one from San Diego specifically just because we did so much there. So that is what the San Diego one looks like absolutely love it so excited i can take it out of its box and start using it i also decided to get from starbucks this little san diego card holder just because i thought it would be good to put um gift cards punch cards things i can keep separate from the rest of the cards in my wallet um, and there is a little key fob in there if you want to put keys in here i guess but did pick up that pouch and then we did some shopping um, we walked along in the boardwalk of sorts and saw the USS Midway and um, all of the little shopping, I think it's called Seaport Village, little shopping district down there. Um, I did pick up this pearl ring from one of the booths that I thought was really sweet. I love pearls. I love the two pearls together. And then um, the other store that I saw some things in that I wanted to grab was Hot Lips. Um, so I got this hot Rice Krispie treat for Abel. So he, I'm sure, will love if he can eat that. It's a very loud bag. Um, I did get this spicy chili lime seasoning blend because Maria said that this is really good. She uses this in her cooking. Um, so I thought that we could try that at home. And then I also ended up getting some coasters, but I am gonna take these out of the bubble wrap packaging and show you those then at the end. Um, actually, you know what, let me just do it now and I'll speed through this part. Okay, um, I have all the coasters. I just absolutely loved these and I actually didn't see anything like these in Mexico. So I'm excited that I did pick them up when I did in San Diego. I wanted just to have some pretty Mexican tile coasters to have around the house. And they were $8.95 each and I think she did all four for um, like 30 or something like that. Sit down, baby. Sit. Good boy. Stay there. And then the la very last thing I got in San Diego was this keychain. Um, it has the coastline and the kissing statue, which was so fun to get to see. And um, Abel and I did get pictures by that. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will have seen those. That is everything in San Diego. Then, of course, the Disney cruise itself. I'm gonna show you cruise line stuff first. 
Um, I already showed this in my vlog. It is an hour and a half long, but if you would like to see just very small samplings of the seven days, um, you guys can check that out. But I have been collecting these from the resorts here at Walt Disney World. So I went ahead and got the Disney Cruise Line one. And then as far as clothing is concerned, I got two pieces of clothing. I did get the Full of Wonder t-shirt, um, Ringer T. Abel got the same one, so we matched. These are specific to the Wonder. You cannot get them on any other ship, so I really liked that. And then I did pick up the Spirit jersey. I have the exact same one in the Dream, so I wanted to get the same one in the Wonder, just so I've got matching Spirit jerseys. It's kind of my goal to get one for every single ship, but I don't think that they have one for every single ship. So we'll see how that pans out. The last thing I got on the ship was this anchor necklace from Chris Lou. Abel got that for me and I wore it every day of the cruise. I absolutely love it. It's just so delicate. A little anchor with a Mickey head. I absolutely love it. I forgot to show these things. Um, when I had my massage, I was recommended some products from Elemis and I did purchase them. The one on the left is the Absolute Eye Mask. That's what my masseuse Danny actually used on me during the massage. Then the two in the middle were a chew pack. The um, second one is the Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. And the third is the Pro Collagen Eye Renewal. And then they were running a holiday special where if you buy two items, which I did, the eye mask and the duo, I got a item for free. Okay. And that was this Moving into the Mexico portion. Starting with Cabo, since that was our first destination. I only got a couple of things in Cabo, the first of which was this avocado charm. Mexico has a large supply of really fun, colorful bags and bag charms, which I absolutely love because I'm such a bag lady. So that avocado charm was perfect. And then my favorite spot in Cabo was the glass blowing factory. But mom and I went there 11 years ago, I got a glass cup that I had for years and I think I unfortunately lost it in one of our moves and I've been devastated about it and I've been so excited to go back to the glass blowing factory. So you will have seen in my vlog, we got to watch the demonstration that they made this little guy, not this exact one. It takes several hours up to like a day plus to cool. Um, so we bought one that was already done. And this is a turtle drinking a tequila, wearing a little sombrero. They had him in a red colorway also, but we thought that the blue matched the stuff in our house better. So we got him, and then mom picked out one of these heart ornaments, and then Abel picked a second one for me, which I didn't know about until we got home. Um, so I love that mom and I have matching blue glass ornaments from the um, glass blowing factory in Cabo. And then we also got this beautiful Christmas tree, which is going to be perfect to put up right now since it is almost Christmas time. Then moving into Mazadlan, I got the bag that I showed with the, the well, I showed the avocado charm, but then I got the bag that I put the charm on. So they have a ton of these and tons of different colorways. I loved the teal, fuchsia, and yellow, and I loved the symbols of all the different indigenous um, figures. So this one kind of looks like an eagle to me, um, headdress, things like that. And I really liked that. That's from Mazadlan. And then I got this ornament. So I got an ornament in Cabo and an ornament in Mazadlan. I did not get an ornament in Puerto Vallarta. I should have. It says Mazadlan on the back. And then the last thing were these little Dia de los Muertos sugar skull pens. Abel and I each got one. There's a hair. Sorry, the stuff is on the ground. <laughs> and then the last day in Mexico was my favorite day in Mexico, which was Puerto Vallarta. We found a Starbucks there and I was freaking out. I could have gotten a Puerto Vallarta specific mug but I chose to get just the Mexico mug in general since we visited three separate locations, Cabo, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. So I did end up getting the Mexico mug. Super, super pumped about that. And then um, 
we also had some time for shopping. So I did end up getting a hand stitched pink shift dress with red embroidery. It's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to wear it to the Mexico Pavilion in Epcot or actually back to Mexico. I would love to go back in the near future. And then we went to Rio Bandito, which was a ranch that specialized in tequila making. And we did do a tequila tasting, which was so, so fun. I didn't care for any of the straight tequilas, but I loved the flavored tequilas. They had a ton mango we picked up the almond and chocolate um they also had a coffee but this was really fun these were 40 dollars each um that dress was 30 um 40 dollars each so i got almond and chocolate and the way that they were advertising these tequila syrups or liquor the core syrups is that you can use them a syrup on pancakes you can put it on top of ice cream you of course can make dessert drinks with them but they're actually pretty versatile so I was really happy about that and then the last thing in Mexico my husband got me for our anniversary is this fire opal not fire opal just opal sorry fire opals orange um, this opal and white topaz ring that I'm wearing we were taken to a silver jewelry shop and I picked this out and had it sized and I was given it sized correctly at the end of the tour. Um, I think Abel spent about $230 um, as it is real silver, real white topaz, and real opal. So it definitely was a pricier item but I'm so so happy with it. I've been wearing it every day since just like my um, anchor necklace. I did take my necklaces off today but I wear my rings all the time. Um, and then the very last thing in Arizona, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm, the fan's on and I'm kind of hot in here. Um, I did get an ASU shirt, got to represent Sun Devil Pride, and Abel got a matching one. And then um, I got some jewelry. So then I got this ring, which is turquoise, two hearts. And then I also got turquoise studs, which I think are in my backpack. Um, I do not have them here to show you. But that is absolutely everything from San Diego, from Mexico, from Arizona, from the cruise ship itself. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually think it's relatively tame um, for seven days, but I absolutely love everything that I got. I'm trying to be very mindful with my shopping. Um, but if you did enjoy, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.